there. Is that you? <laughs> come in, darling. I've been expecting you. Oh, come in. Don't be afraid. <laughs> I won't bite. And you're bound to have a good time. Or my name isn't Elvira. <laughs> Hey now, cats, we're back again this week on the Balls for Ellen Halloween special free-for-all. <laughs> and this week I have my favorite special spooky guest, the one, the man, the myth, the legend, Little Mikey. You, you just call me a special guest? Yes. So I'm special? Is that what you're saying? You are my special spooky guest of one of... Oh, so I'm a special spooky guest. And my special spooky co-host co-host. Because I'm a co-host. Special guest. I don't know if you'll ever know who that is, but... Uh, uh, she's making me poop. The poop. She seems special. <laughs> That's ex -Tina, as you know. I'm Balls. Oh, and my incredible guest this week is the one, the only, Little Mikey. And he is going to jam some fucking Halloween shit for you. He's going to, we're going to talk Halloween. This is a Halloween episode. It's going to be spooky, Cad. So let's just get on with it. How the fuck are you, Little Mikey? Oh, I'm amazing. How are you? Yay. I, well, we are fantastic. I have to tell you. This is my time of year. This is like my Christmas. Got all kinds of interesting shit going on. Oh, you like Columbus Day that much? Oh, I know. It's great. <laughs> oh, my gosh. It gives me a boner. No. He leaves, Columbus was a hot dude, I have to tell you. Yeah. But anyway, Halloween's nice, too. <laughs> Do you dress in an eagle suit for Columbus Day, sir? Yes. I'm patriotic like that. Yeah. See, there ain't enough patriots like you around anymore, man. I also wear a fucking mask. That's how patriotic I am. Us too, man. Right here. She got hers on right now. You're not. That's for this fucking mug, so yeah, that was a no-brainer for me. Mm. Wait. Wait, is that your mask? Bald? It is. This is my costume. It's pretty scary. I know. <laughs> I would have got away with it too if it wasn't for you stinking kids. <laughs> Dang. But I see you have a guitar, sir. What do you do with that? Sometimes I stick it at my ass and uh Can you do it sideways? I can do it always, like just I prefer this angle. Can you uh can you get a good running start? Kind of like batter and ram that right up there? Oh, I don't need a running start. <laughs> oh wow. So you're all uh road hard and put away wet. Yes. Yes. He's very serious about this. Well, what are we singing? What? Are we all singing? Yeah, let's sing a song. Why the fuck not? Let's do it. <clears throat> this song is called Just Wear a Mask to the tune of Monster Mash. Ooh, one of my favorites. I the we'll song. try to follow suit. By wearing a mask? Or? Yes. Sure. Oh. <laughs> we'll sing. There's a town that I work in. It's called Randleman. And, uh, it's pretty uh, rednecky, but anyway, it's sort of a true story. I Except for the behind the music thing, man. Let's do it. What? I love this behind the music. Oh, well then, I'm glad you asked. <laughs> so anyway, um, <laughs> it's a story until the part where I ask him why he was down in the dumps. So, are you ready? Ready! I'm like lunch meat. I'm always ready. Mm. Are you? Oh, I love lunch meat. Lunch meat is always ready, too. Right? Unless you want to warm it up. Ooh, no. That's true. You've never had warm lunch meat? Like a hot ham and cheese sandwich? No, I like it cold, like, uh, never mind. Like, Just play the song. <laughs> <laughs> I was in a Walmart in a redneck town, and I noticed a guy, he was wearing a frown. I asked him why he was down in the dumps. He said, it's because he likes Donald Trump. Just wear a mask. Just wear a fucking mask. Just wear a mask. <laughs> no, be an ass. Just wear a mask. 
just wear a mask, a fucking mask. Just wear a fucking mask. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Welcome back. Welcome, Doc Ivan, the man, the myth, the legend, one of my closest compadres. Oh, Ivan is here. Well, Fuck yeah, he is. Oh. Wow! <laughs> I just wanted to say hello really quick. I miss you guys. Aww. We miss you too, man. I'm glad you did. You're looking very dapper, sir. Well, that's because I've got these, uh, you know, special lighting on me that hides every bad thing about me. No, I'm, that's I'm not right. in a costume. I, I feel like I'm. Nice. I feel like I'm missing the action. <laughs> <laughs> What'd you think of Mikey's song, huh? <laughs> I, I only heard. I only heard two notes of it. I came in and my computer audio wasn't on. I was. That's why I was looking so strange. He's dressed like an eagle. He means business. Well, into the future. <laughs> <laughs> He's a patriotic motherfucker if ever there was one. I, I love him, man. I, I miss you, Mikey. It's been a long time. Yeah, let's, uh, you know, when we get a vaccine, let's all... Mm, we're not getting a vaccine. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's going to be three years before I can hug any of you. And it's going to suck. Mm. And then that, I would have hugged you more in, uh, in Virginia. Well, I didn't really know you then. I, didn't have, I, didn't have, I, I just knew you in the biblical sense at that point. <laughs> yeah, I'm still bleeding from my asshole. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yeah, I keep bringing the hits. I'm, 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 I'm having trouble hearing Mikey's audio. Is it just me? No, nah, he's just not saying much. Oh, uh, I'm gonna sing a, he's got a tune. I wrote a song for you, Doc, just now. Oh, all right. Let's hear it. It's fucking Doc. Woo! It's fucking, fucking Doc. Doc! Doc! <laughs> Doc! 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 Woo! My heart thanks you. That kind of rocked, actually. What? That kind of rocked, rock. honestly. It did rock. Remember the one song I wrote for you, Balls? It was a... That was my theme song. Because it's Balls. It's Balls. It's Balls calling. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. It was like free falling, but Balls calling. And I, I thought it was a good idea. Absolutely. It was an okay so idea. So what's going on, Doc? Tell us all the uh, tell us all the details. Doc, there, there is not much going on. I'm I'm pandemic locked down. I you know my big thrill is going to get gas and going to the store, and then completely mm -hmm. dousing my whole body in hand sanitizer when I'm done. Mm. That's yeah, my life right now. Right. Well, I was going to ask you, yeah. being that it's a Halloween theme episode, to tell us your favorite scary story, but nothing scarier in fucking 2020. Nothing, nothing scarier than this administration. No, if, if anybody who looks at my Facebook page knows, it's just, <laughs> I, I am. Oh, hey, we got Mike Kennedy Pete coming in now too. But he he's training the swamp. What? Oh, holy yeah. shit! Pete. Pete. Hey, hey. hey. Sam, what's up, brother? Hey. Yo. Uh, How the hell are you, yeah. man? It's been forever. How you doing? How's it going, buddy? It's How's doing it going, great. Bro? How's Pete holding up in this crazy, crazy time, man? How you doing? Uh, it's pretty uh, pretty weird, you know? What have you been doing? Like, are you, you still can't uh, really uh, go? Is there a lot of places still closed in your area? Hmm. Uh yeah, it's it's uh it's pretty much closed. I mean, you you got twenty five percent capacity, but but it's not, it's not, it's not um uh, it's not fully up to capacity yet, you know. So. Huh. so yeah. Then, uh, so so what do you do for fun now, man? I mean, looks uh, like he hangs out at the park. Are you at the park? <laughs> you can't go no, to the library. No, 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 no library. I know, library's you can't, you can't do regular routine. Library's been closed. Is that Doc? Jim, no library. That is Doc right? Ivan, sir. And little Mike. Hey, and Doc, it's Tina. And I'm Balls. Oh, I wrote a, uh, a medicated Pete sign in, on song real quick. All right. You want to hear a medicated Pete song, medicated Pete? Yeah, let me hear that. 
Medicated Pete is on. Yeah. Medicated Pete is on. Medicated Pete is on. <laughs> <laughs> He's on the street. I love how Mikey stays in the 70s and the 80s, and I know every song. Me too, man. That was the 80s was the best. <laughs> yes, it was. Oh, oh, I'm good, man. I, I think I should burn pubes. All right. <laughs> I rocked a little too hard. Hey, you still there? Yeah. I'm oh, here. I'm here. We're, hey, we're man. Since I'm uh, seeing more than this. Hey, Pete, I want to ask you, what's your favorite? Do you, have, do you have a scary story you can tell us? You know what? I don't I don't really have anything scary. Um, what's your favorite scary movie? Um, you know, honestly, um, I think it's got to be... Um, it's... Um, the whole, hold on now. I'm, I'm trying to think. Hmm. I... Um, I, what uh, scares you then? Like, if you can't think of a movie, what scares you? I'm trying to think, but nothing happened. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, I fly to clowns when I was a kid, man. You know what? Um, it was um, that movie that they. I'm trying to think of the name of the movie now. I I can't. What I was can't, it about? I, I could probably tell you. I can't. I can't think of it now. Um. Um, probably, maybe maybe Poltergeist. Oh uh, yeah, dude, that that clown from Poltergeist made me shit my pants when I was a kid. When it uh, to bed. Oh my god, it still freaks me out. I know the kid. I know the guy that actually. Oh, it's old age, right? He bought it from the uh, the actual film. Wow. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and yeah, probably, yeah, probably, uh, I was gonna say, uh, picture stuff there. There we go. Probably, probably, probably yeah. the Exorcist too. Oh yeah, that's still yeah. scary, man. That's that's a what scary. Did you one. ever? What did you dress up like for trick or treat when you was a kid? What was your favorite costume? Uh, I was Ace Freely one, so that was pretty badass. I think. He's wearing a mask. That's cool. That's cool. No, I didn't. I didn't really dress up as anybody. As anything scary, I think. Um, more like uh, you know, like characters, like of you know, just just random. Random, random characters, probably, you know? Yeah. How about you, uh, Doc and Mikey? What did you guys dress up with when you was a kid? What's your favorite costume? Go ahead, Doc. Well, um, yeah. um, Stein Monster was one of them. Ooh. That was a good one. I, I, I was really happy because uh, I made the headpiece out of cardboard. We didn't have any real money. <laughs> and, nice. and I painted it with the same Sorry. paint that I painted my, my face. And so um, I got that, and then uh, I took some. Uh, I took. I, I was stupid. I took rubber cement. <laughs> and I took bolts from the garage. <laughs> and put them on. Well, my mother took. You know, helped me. She couldn't tear them off, and she got nail polish remover, and it irritated my skin to take them off. Oh, and my. I also I also put like metal like things on my head, like the clamps. Yeah. And well, I was artistic, you know. Right. Autistic <laughs> and artistic, and then you know I did things. Like artistic, that. yeah. He was artistic, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you always have to suffer for your art, dog. <laughs> I'm a little, I'm a little artistic too. So I yeah. Used to have hair. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, good 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 that was great. Pete. <laughs> How about you, Mikey? What did you dress up as? Well, I'm on the spectrum also, um, but uh. Yeah. I don't know what I I don't know what I dressed up as a kid, but my favorite costume, like it was a last minute outfit idea. And then I was on my way to a party and I dressed up with like, a trash bag on myself and wrote white trash on it. So <laughs> <laughs> But looking back, I can probably be that every Halloween. Me too, that, actually. <laughs> yeah. So I got a funny story. So my friend and I, we decided one summer, it was summer and we were bored and we dressed up and decided to just randomly trick or treat in the middle of like July. And we went to all these houses and the neighbors all knew us. And so they gave us candy out of their house. Some of them didn't have candy. So they like made a sandwich or something. That was pretty cool. <laughs> I went to, I was 17, man. And here's how it stopped. 
I, I we went to this lady's house and she looks at me and she goes, I'm not giving you candy. You have a fucking beard. <laughs> <laughs> that was the end of the trick or treat. <laughs> I had a beard. Great to have a beard at seven. Great. <laughs> oh dude i had uh i looked like a wildebeest at like 14 man like i was the first person to have a beard and a mustache and oh and yeah. so you went and bought beer for everybody else yeah. uh, nobody liked me I, I couldn't even buy them off with beer <laughs> <laughs> they didn't send you first to the liquor store to pretend like you were old enough no no oh. i was uh i went to a predominantly redneck school and i was not and uh, it was an issue. So <laughs> I wasn't what? all that popular either. Uh, until I second least popular drugs. person but, in my entire school. But the, the key to be popularity when you looked like me was to sell drugs in school, and then everything went well. No, oh, gee. <laughs> I wish I would have figured that part out. <laughs> you still sell them asking for a friend. No, no. <laughs> I, I haven't gotten high since I was in my 20s, and I'm 60 now. Oh. Dude, doesn't he look amazing <laughs> for does, 60? Does, yeah. Well, I don't drink and I don't smoke. Wow. So. Mm -hmm. Bravo, bravo. So there you go. That's a body good. <laughs> that's been about six years since I smoked. Like, what? Mm. Yeah, I haven't had a drink in a while. But that's okay. okay. Three, Three's okay. good. Three's better. <laughs> we'll than... give you three. Was that a four loco, Mikey? What is it? <laughs> yeah, it's it's like, drink. like zero sugar. Truly. <laughs> that's like the, um, I don't know, a real man's white claw. <laughs> yeah, exactly, but it's good for the diabetes. So, oh, there you go. <laughs> the there you go. So, nice. by the way, Mikey, you look amazing with all the weight loss, man. Yeah, you look yeah, great. Oh huh? yeah, man, he does. Not in this outfit. But... Yeah, you can't <laughs> tell us all my feathers. <laughs> <laughs> so you got you got any plans for Halloween, Pete? Um, not right now. I, I don't know. I don't know what's going on yet. So we're just going to uh, fly by air with all this COVID stuff, you know. It's nice. tough, man. Is Pete in Red Bay? Yeah, yeah. I'm in. I'm in New Jersey. So Red Red Bank, New Jersey. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice. I love that. Yeah, you've been here. Man. Yeah, I went to the uh, I went to the amphitheater thing or the what's that called the uh, Red Bank Theater. Oh, I did a yeah. comedy show there. Yeah, I already played. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Nice. I did that yeah. place with uh, the Iron Sheik and Beetlejuice and... Oh, what is it called? Yeah. And <laughs> and... yeah. Count, right? What? It's called the Count Basie Theater. Count, Count Basie, Basie Theater, Theater. Yeah. I, yeah. I I did security. I worked the show, yeah. Wow. Yeah. But uh, those were the days. Those were fun. Yeah, the shows. The circus. The good old days. The Before COVID. Years, yes. <laughs> now, you know how we used to have, you know, BC and AD? Now we're going to have before COVID and after COVID. <laughs> I'm telling you, man, I, know, I watched really. so many of those shows. It was so much fun. You know, mm -hmm. working with like Yucko and, and Jim yeah. Quarantine and Craig Gass and a lot of cool people. Craig, Craig's Eddie Van Halen story the other day was so oh, amazing. It's so good. Oh, that was great. He's such a sweetheart of a dude anyway. Yeah. I, mean, yeah. I got to see him. Um, I went to see Artie a few months of, you know, before COVID started. And Craig was the opener and we reconnected. It was nice. Cool, cool. Nice. Hey, Doc, how you been doing, man? I'm good, brother. How about you? Good to see you. Always good to see you, Petey. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Hopefully we'll get a chance to uh, be in Virginia again. And then I'll, you know, well, get, uh, get, get to see probably them. three years. Yeah. <laughs> no, I'm not kidding. That's when that's when this all died down. It'll be a good three years before probably. Yeah. yeah. Three to five years before, you know, everybody's vaccinated. And, that's and so crazy. Do things like that again completely. Yeah, it's crazy, yeah. right? I mean I know. It's I hope it's less, but I understand you're trying to be uh, you know, realistic. I'm, I'm realistic. Yeah. You know, it's, yeah, you know it's nice. nice. That's the problem. If people would behave and do the right thing. It would be over quick. It'd be over a lot sooner. If, if people yeah. would have did what they were supposed yeah. to in the beginning, we probably wouldn't be nearly as bad in this mess. Well, if, if somebody and else had been president and they handled it like they did Ebola and SARS, mm -hmm. we would have been fine. But that's yeah. not the case. There was yeah. no handling at yeah. all. Yeah. <laughs> and still not. I mean, you know, he's clearly out of his mind. You know? It's scary. Somebody, is it talking about him? It's, it's, it's scary. Scary. You vote, right, Pete? Yeah. 
All right, I've already voted. Did yeah. everybody vote yet? I voted. Yeah, I'm, again, I'm doing it this week, so I'm gonna, oh, cool. yeah. Yeah. So are we. Hmm. Well, we're going, you know, we're going to go to the, the polls on the third. Yeah, yeah we're going well, to uh, Pennsylvania, polls. you already have early voting, right? I don't know. I don't think, I don't know. I've read different things. You know what? I think they just opened it up because I've seen some of my um, friends. I thought it opened up like day before yesterday. Think, or something. But I don't yeah. know if I trust that, you know? But yeah, I, I want to go and physically the do it. Stamp the boxes and put it right in the box. Yeah, yeah. Don't don't fall no. into that. Don't trust things. We've been mailing our taxes and everything the hell else. Draft notices. That, you know, it's just Trump trying to you know scare people. Scare people. Right. <laughs> you know, the, the, right. taxes, the taxes don't don't get lost. Obviously, they, they, no. you know. I mean, none of that stuff oh. does. Yeah. Very you know, very valid point. Know. You know what's cool, man? You know, shouldn't they shouldn't get lost anyway? Oh, it's true. All things crazy. All things I'm looking crazy. at all you guys, and I'm like, wow, you know what? Like, I would have never even had this opportunity to even be friends with any of you if it wasn't for the show. Like, it's so cool. Yeah. All the friends we may meet and make just through, like, listening to the show, man. I mean, it's 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 surreal to see here happen with you guys now. Like, I know. I've, I've spent time with everybody here except for... It is pretty cool, so... Except for yeah. Christina. Yeah. No, I've, I've spent time with everybody here. Yeah. Uh, it's really nice, man. It is. Thank it, you, is right. it is scary times. I was super fucking scared. Very scary. Like yeah. I have, I have a compromised immune system and shit. I didn't go to the house for how many months? At least two months. Yeah. I'm still freaked out. So, I mean, yeah. Well, I'm a hard. I'm not ashamed to tell you, man. I'm still freaked out. I know. I'm. I, I, hey, I, you know what man. I miss is sushi. I because I, I won't eat anything you don't microwave. Right. You know, you, I'm a fat guy. You know what I miss? Face. I'm never yeah. gonna see that shit again, right? Yeah. Well, that, that's in our best interest, my friend. <laughs> oh my god! Yeah, <laughs> that's the truth, boy. But I miss sushi. I miss anything yeah. like that. Can't have it. Yeah, and you got to get that fresh. Yeah, I know. You can't microwave sushi. No, yuck. You know what I miss? <laughs> no, 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 no. That shit delicious. <laughs> what? You gotta get. Bad. You gotta get. You, you gotta get sushi from from. From particular places because mm -hmm. you, you just can't oh, you can't I, I trust a lot of places. Yeah. I won't touch I, it. It frightens yeah, me. Yeah, man. I don't want to get I don't get sushi on the back of a pickup. No, no, no I, I won't get gas good. station sushi and I'm certainly <laughs> not <laughs> pandemic. Oh, dude, you sushi. laugh. I had gas station sushi once. I was sick for a fucking month, man. Oh, yeah. Oh. Well, that fish was source. trying to swim out of my butthole for a month. Mm. Oh. Instead of the source. <laughs> well, I figure I'm just going to learn to make it myself. I, I was thinking of taking like an online class, like to have these things, go. like getting all the stuff, and because I miss it that much, wow. I figure I'll learn to make it myself. It's a good idea. Yeah. You know, and that yeah. way it, it would be, you know, safe. That's right. Yeah. Then you know where it came from. Right. And then in years, you can open up a place in the gas station. It's got to be fresh. <laughs> I mean, Doc's super safe yeah. sushi. Man, yeah. <laughs> triple S. Doc's triple yeah. S. Can pull on in and get some of that shit. <laughs> oh, Mikey, uh, Lois told me to say hello to you. Hello, Lois. Yeah, I, I, I'll i tell her I saw you. She'll like it. Oh. Hey, I can tell uh, her. hey, Mikey, you got another song we can all sing together? Well, uh, this is called, it's about uh, Dick Stain. Donald Trump. <laughs> You're That's what I prefer to call them. But uh, it's called Germ Spreaders to the tune of Ghostbusters. So, All right. Oh. I want to sing. <laughs> I should, do you want to see the guitar? Sure. It's okay. That makes you comfortable. Right. I'm going to pretend you're playing a tune of fish in my mind anyway, so just go ahead. What? I don't know. Just play the song. <laughs> oh. Just realized my fingers up. I apologize. Oh, ah! Son of a bitch. <laughs> yeah. You remember in the uh, Eric Clapton Unplugged, he had his middle finger up on the uh, Tears in Heaven. He goes... Oh. <laughs> oh. 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 Oh.
If I see Robin's tits. <laughs> but that's the card. I was like, oh my god, he's got his middle finger up. I was like, I was only like three. <laughs> Before. I might have been swimming in my dad's ball still. How old are you? Yeah, 1994, right? 94. Yeah, you weren't swimming. You were graduating high school. That's right. I did graduate in 94. Yeah, I will tell you when I graduated high school. Play the song. Right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hey, when did you graduate? Uh, 94, 1994. Oh, same nice. as me. What? Sorry, sorry. What? what year? Are we the same age? You 44 too? I'm 45, yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Excuse me, let me put my teeth in. Play the song. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> You're younger than all of us. Do, I gotta man. put mine in too. <laughs> <laughs> let it rip, Mikey. Let's seriously. See. There's a man insane in the White House. He doesn't <laughs> Term spreaders. The manager. What? Where'd the rest of the group go? I can't hear you. Yeah, try again. We can't hear you. I don't think uh -oh. Mike can see us. No, oh, no, medicated Pete is gone. All right. Hold on. I'm back. Can you, uh, I keep seeing a white screen or something. <laughs> go into the light, Carolyn. Oh shit! No little. Oh, there we go. Look at that. All can right. We're, we're good. Yeah, that's oh. better. All right, you can hear it. Yeah. Okay. One, <laughs> two, three, four. You see the middle finger? Ah, yeah. Yeah, you see this one? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> a man insane in the White House. He doesn't wear a mask. Sure. Germ the spreader! The <laughs> man is insane running the country. He's a fucking ass. Germ spreader! <laughs> he ain't afraid of COVID. <laughs> He ain't afraid of COVID because he's a moron. <laughs> sure. <You got> <laughs> nah, 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 nah. Hey, buddy voted for him in this group. Mm -hmm. Now is the time for applause. Wow. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I'm not worthy. Hey, boss. Yes. I um, appreciate having me on, man. Hey, thanks for coming by, Pete. I appreciate it, man. No problem. Stay in touch, buddy. And stay safe. And peace and love, Anytime. buddy. We love you. Anytime. Keep giving me a shout. There you go. The man, the myth, the legend. Thank you. Good seeing you. Later, Pete. Later, Pete. Stop, love you, Pete. Stop, peace and love, buddy. Stay safe. Stop, good seeing you, man. As always, your 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 artwork kicks ass. Thanks, yeah, my brother. <laughs> we love you, Pete. See you, buddy. Love you guys. Take care. Thanks a lot, man. Mikey, thanks, man. All right, thanks, Pete. Bye. Take care, Let's guys. Go, thanks Pete. a lot. Peace and love. Peace and love. You got it. You got it. <laughs> What did he do to make this house so evil? Murder, vampirism, cannibalism, drug addiction, alcoholism, sadism, mutilation. How did it end? If it had ended, we would not be here.
just waiting in there to take over. The house tried to kill me. It almost succeeded. I don't accept this. I do not accept this! Naked. Drunk. Fighting. Oh, please get me out of here. I was wondering how long that was going to take. Yo, Doc. <laughs> what? Me too. Some Halloween way. depravity. I got some stories to tell. Yes, please. <laughs> Open your pits of hell. Oh, my. Yes, yes, indeed. <laughs> take your mask off. I want to see your face and your expressions. <laughs> Fool me again, child, and your suffering will be legendary even in hell. <laughs> Are you talking to Balls or Xena? That was me. That was him. No, but uh, Doc said take your mask off. I, yeah, I want to see your face, Xena. He was talking. Well, I didn't wear makeup. That's why I'm, hide I'm hiding this hideousness. See, this, like this is scarier. No, it is. I, like <laughs> I I didn't throw makeup on. I was being lazy today. So. Yeah, did I? We're good. Mm -hmm. I, I I put on makeup. I took my tips from Sal, and I'm wearing. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we'll do a little depravity. It's probably easier to hear me without the mask on, anyways. So. That's why I asked you to take it off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Well, oh, don't yeah, yeah, me. I'm yeah, yeah, nice yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe she's yeah, 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 yeah. me. Yeah, you're yeah, like part yeah. of the family now. You get right. the yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so. you get yeah, yes, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, such small breasts. Go ahead. <laughs> All right. So you I wanna, wish I could say the same. <laughs> you want you wanna, uh, a fancy introduction of the uh, depravity corner? I sure do. Hold on. Now for everybody's favorite part of the show, Catch. You know her. You love her. I love her. Stay tuned to form X Tina's Depravity Corner Halloween Edition. <laughs> so we got some. Some Halloween depravity for you. So, what better time to yeah. commit a murder oh, shit. than Halloween, right? Absolutely. Right. So, back in 1957, a Los Angeles hairstylist named Peter Fabiano. Dick Fabiano, gotcha. <laughs> he opened his door for what he thought was a trick or treater. But it was actually a grown-up in costume, and this grown-up shot the man, the myth, the legend, Peter Fabiano, the hairstylist. <laughs> um, after a while, it turned into a, I guess it turned out to be a crime of passion, because somebody, I guess Peter was, you know, doing something with the man who shot him's wife and um, they inspired to get him out of the equation. So, um, oh, maybe his wife. Oh, I see. Okay. The wife of the man who shot him, I guess was married to Peter. Anyway, whatever. You know Somebody what had saying. Peter. We Somebody was with Peter and um, married. Out, of the, out of the, what do you call it? lusts of his um other person here and um oh it was a woman they were lesbians yay wow this so, better, and better each sentence <laughs> so he, yeah peter's wife wanted to be with a woman so she had someone shoot him because in 57 that was very taboo well in all honesty they both hated peter mm -hmm. they apparently all hated peter so that's that now i don't know you guys probably heard this one um let me see. Yeah, this was really sad. I, I even remember this happening. I think it was in the 90s. Oh, 80s. Um, there was a man in, where was this at? Uh, Texas. And his son got a packet of pixie sticks one year for Halloween. And next thing you know, he was poisoned and he died. 
So I was checking their kids' pixie sticks, thinking they were going to get killed. I was checking my pixie stick last night. I bet you were. <laughs> I bet. Well, funny thing is, I'm so old, powder did come out. Keep going. <laughs> Luckily, your pixie stick wasn't laced with cyanide as this young man's was. I've had people tell me mine tastes like cyanide. Hmm. No, I, I, my mine was laced with Vaseline. Go ahead. Do you, do you know who laced little Timmy's pixie stick with cyanide? <laughs> stick Jared from Subway. Pulse. Shoot a load of Pepsi out on everybody here. Yeah, Jared from Subway um, did. <laughs> Oh gosh, one moment for dying balls. <laughs> oh. <laughs> All right. All right, I'm good. As I was, oh, do you know who laced little Timmy's pixie stick with cyanide? Keep away for shit like that. His father. What? His fucking father. He must have been a little bastard. <laughs> I mean, I guess. Are you trying to tell me it was an inside job? It was an inside <laughs> job. <laughs> yeah, yeah, unfortunately. You know that, bro. <laughs> that was an inside job. Uh, let's see. We got we got another one here. Um, Mikey, what do you think about this? Oh, I'm playing background music. I don't know if you can hear it. All right. Yeah, give us some background music. All right. See, he's all right. Mm -hmm. All right, what do we got here? Uh, woo, the scene in Ohio. Oh, that's not far from us. I know. On, in 2010, was out of a haunted house. Had uh, Devin Griffin returning home, he found his brother, mother, and husband all dead. There was one suspect. It was a man suffering from schizophrenia. I guess it was the neighbor. Uh, he had been hanging out at the local halfway house. I guess that's where he lived. And I uh, guess he got out halfway and decided to go and murder these <laughs> fine folks on Halloween. He got, he got out halfway. <laughs> oh, Lord. <laughs> well, he killed, um, killed family and uh, he did confess. Uh, wow, he even shot his father, stepbrother, or he bludgeoned his stepbrother, killed his... Um, he raped his stepmother. Oh, this guy's sick. Oh, he ended up killing himself in 2015. Good riddance, dude. Thanks for saving us taxpayers' money. All right. Enough Halloween depravity. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nothing scarier than real, uh, real Halloween. Uh, Especially in 2020. Yeah. Right.
fucking nightmare. <laughs> Why don't you wrap us up here for uh, let's 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 do a couple more songs here before we all say goodbye. What do you think? I don't have any ask songs or anything, but can you rock some Robin songs off the top? Oh, yeah, definitely. Well, we all saw well, we got some Robin songs. We'll all close the old spooky Halloween show with Robin songs. What do you think? Might even leave you with a spooky story before we go. Was beautiful, man. Woo! Thank you. And then here's the uh, the other one I know. I close my eyes. Think about Robin and I rub my skull. They're that guy on lighter, all right. Like a real concert.
Did I mute you guys? Never, like stellar job, sir. Never gets old. It really doesn't. I, I love what you do, man. Thank I you very much. It's such a weird time, like writing songs about coronavirus. It's like, I miss the times when we could say nuts on my chin. Now it's like, wear a mask, dumb fuck. Yeah. <laughs> I know. I it's infiltrating it's everything I do, too. But, yeah. Exactly. Well, cats. But uh, my, my last song, though, was on uh, Wednesday. Like, it was a uh, put a mask on you twat. It was a uh, oh, put great. a mask on you twat. But my my uh, my my Robin song was like, I forgot. It was like, let me a little cock in your twat. You know, like I rewrote <laughs> on your twat. It's like, it's just such fucking weird times. So You got a spooky yeah. story for us, boss. I have a spooky story, cats. I'm going to close on. It's a true life tale of the supernatural that happened to yours truly. Would you like to hear it? I would love to. Oh, yes. Open your pits of hell. (laughs) (laughs) You're waiting for your story. I am going to tell you the tale of the haunted firehouse. (laughs) It's a really dumb story, but I'm going to close it anyway. Because really, I have nothing else. When I was younger, my buddy used to, he's the fire chief of Rochester Township in Pennsylvania, and he used to profess that his firehouse was haunted. Me, being the skeptic that I naturally am, wanted to see this, so he took me there late, late at night. It was like midnight. So we go, and there's this big steel door. Was he a pastor? Huh? Was he a pastor? No. No, it was in a firehouse. A Boy Scout leader? No, he was a All right. fucker fighter. Jeffrey yeah. Epstein. You're fucking my shit up, man. Stop it. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> How am I going to tell this dumb story? <laughs> like, Mikey's going right for molestation. He's not holding Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, I was supposed to get molested. I wish it was this interesting. Now I'm going to make it. Now I'm not just going to make shit up. The ghost fucking jerked me off or something. Yeah, so. yeah. Of course. But anyway. Hey, Spoiler alert. We went in there, and I, and I have to say, we weren't there long, and he went to take a shit. And I hear this big fucking metal door, bam! And I'm like, all right, man, stop fucking with me, all right? You know? So I'm like, I, I, I'm like looking all over the place. He's still in, he's in there taking a shit. So there's no way it was him. There's nobody else in this entire place. I walk through it. I walk through this banquet room and there's all these fucking chairs and a pot machine. So I'm like, hey, man, hurry up. And he's like, oh, you're getting scared. You believe me? And I'm like, no. So, you know, he's still shitting. This dude shit for like 20 minutes. So I happened to walk back through this banquet room and all the fucking chairs that were underneath the tables are now fucking on top of the tables. And I fucking lost my shit, man. I'm on the fucking thing. I'm like, come on, come on, hurry up, hurry up. So we fucking left and that fucking scared the shit out of me. What a uh, dumb story. Yeah, yeah, no, it's not a dumb story. And that's what we're all about here in the Boston Mellon too. Dumb stories. So I hope you enjoyed it. Hope you enjoyed so- it. St- Stellar, star-filled fucking show full of with the great Doc Ivan, uh, Mike Padre, the greatest artist in the universe, Little Mikey, the best song paradise in the universe, and of course, ex And the, don't forget Medicated Pete. And Medicated Pete, thank you so much, sir. Uh, thank you for dropping by. It is always a privilege. From Balls, I hope you have a very spooky Halloween. Tune in next week for part two. And ex do you have anything to say before we go? Uh, happy Halloween. Happy Halloween, everybody. Great seeing y'all. Take care. Great seeing you. Love you, Doc. Love you, Mikey. Thanks. Boo! Mwah. Take care. Check your candy. Bye, everybody. What's in it? I don't need candy. <laughs> oh, well, you're no fun. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Later. Thanks. Love you guys. Thank you. Thank you. Peace and love. Peace, Peace and love. love.
It looked like a safe haven from the raging storm. It's an odd kind of place. Who'd your folks get it from, Boris Karloff? Their hosts seemed like the essence of hospitality. You can stay here as long as you like. Wonderful. But appearances can be very oh. deceiving. What's the matter? Afraid of the dog? Lost? Yeah. Scared? Well, of course not. What's there to be afraid of? This house. Oh, don't be. Sorry. You like toys. <laughs> I'm a doll maker. I make the most wonderful toys. Dolls, puppets, soldiers, ballerinas. Nobody wants a doll that's special anymore, that's one of a kind. The weather brings out creativity. It helps me in my work. What kind of work is that? Witchcraft? Dr. Jekyll. <laughs> and in order of his disappearance, the Invisible Man. Also starring Phyllis Diller as the hostess with the least. <laughs> Mad Monster Party! They're playing your song, honey. Let's dance. <laughs> It's a come-as-you-are party that's out of this world. You don't get invited. You get committed. It's a psychedelic scary. Who with the grooviest ghouls of all time. Mad Monster Party! Punch, anyone? It's a blast. He created the most frightening film ever made. Then, he took his unique vision of terror one step further. Now, George A. Romero takes us out of the night, beyond the dawn, and into the darkest day of horror the world has ever known. Day of the Dead. There have to be survivors in Washington. Oh, my. They have more sophisticated shelters than this one. Oh, there have to be people in those shelters who know about us, who know where we are. With no radio contact, they'll come looking for us. I said shut up! They can be tricked into being good little girls and boys. The same way we were tricked into it. Oh, promise of some reward to come. What the fuck is wrong with you people? They're dead! They're fucking dead, and you want to teach them tricks? They have to be rewarded, Captain. 
Why else will they do what we want them to do? I don't want them to do anything but drop <laughs> George A. Romero's Day of the Dead, the most eagerly awaited day in horror film history. <laughs> Some night, huh? On this very night, ten years ago, along this same stretch of road, in a dense fog, just like this, I saw the worst accident I ever seen. There was this sound like a garbage truck dropped off the Empire State Building. And when they finally pulled the driver's body from the twisted, burning wreck, it looked like this. <laughs> yes, sir. That was the worst accident 
I ever seen. Uh, I get off right up here. Have a nice day. <laughs> Be sure and tell them Large Marge sent you. Turns 
innocent group of men into a band of bloodthirsty zombies ravaging a peaceful countryside. I drink your blood and I eat your skin will make your blood curdle and your skin crawl. You will sit there and suffer through the tortures of the damned. You will sit and watch this shocking ugliness splashing across the screen. You will ask yourself, what acts of sadism will this electric knife be used for? What horrors will be performed with this axe, this hose, this dagger, this gun, this sword? All the implements necessary to make this the ultimate in adult horror films. painted a bloody picture, but it is only a small part of what actually takes place in I drink your blood and I eat your skin. Can you take it? If you have a strong constitution, we challenge you to test it and sit through. I drink your blood and I eat your skin. Welcome to Tromaville High, an average American high school, with one exception. It's located only one mile away from a nuclear power plant. They said it was 100% safe. But they were wrong. There's no danger, Governor. We have the situation well in hand. <laughs> Welcome to the class of Newcomb High. Yes, at Newcomb High, strange things are happening. The Honor Society has changed from a group of clean-cut preppies into a vicious gang of cretins. We're the youth of today. The teenage student body is transformed into horrifying mutations. And physical education is turned into a nightmare of violence. <laughs> the class of Newcomb High. Introducing Warren and Chrissy. I love you. Two young lovers caught in a world gone mad. <laughs> The class of Newcomb High. Yes, at Newcomb High, anything can happen. And does. The class of Newcomb High, where you'll learn the three R's. Reading, writing, and radiation. See the most explosive action of the year. <laughs> the class of Newcomb High. Rated R. There's a mom. 
monster in my pants And it does a nasty pants When it moves in and out Everybody starts to shout guy, let's call him me, is fucking the left eye of a pumpkin, okay? If that pumpkin didn't want it, why was it smiling at me? Jaeger. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I'm trying to teach. I'm teaching.
Jason takes Manhattan. Now, New York has a new problem.